G'day guys, welcome back to Total War Warhammer. This is part two of our Beastmen storyline campaign, and so far it hasn't really been very story-based. I thought it'd be a lot more sort of narrated and story-based, but it's still fun and we're only early days, so it might get better. Now, the plan is we're going to keep attacking in the south here and building up our forces. We just got a massive, uh, it's kind of a uh, buff to our units. We got a 15% melee... Uh, improvement and a 50% attack improvement so that's awesome which is going to really help our units uh, that's for three more turns so we're going to try and make the most of it if we destroy another three empire uh, regions and raise them or whatever we get a benefit with the ripped horn tribe and then we probably could confederate them I'm still a bit unsure if I want to do that or not I think the penalties are going to be huge if we do that but we'll see what happens Anyway, we're going to continue with our missions and see how we go. The plan is, are we recruiting or are we attacking? We're recruiting for one more end turn and we're encamped. So we'll do that. Oh, we have to do a new, new technology as well. We've just finished the first one, which gives us extra leadership. We're going to do the second one, which will give us extra horde growth. And then we might save and try and get the extra research rate because we're down to 96%. Anyway, let's do the end turn. Are they going to help me? You better not be sieging. I want to take that. Alright, so let's go into our attacking stance. And we can still attack. This should be pretty easy. Looks like they're going to help. Maybe not. But that's okay. We can still wreck these guys. There's three, uh, two archers, two shielded spearmen, and two shielded swordsmen units. This should be a massacre. So we have the extra melee attack. Everyone's got, I mean, even our... Wait, our archers have 67 melee attack. Their swords units have 32. I think I could kill them with my archers in melee. We're going to try. We have to try. Let's fight it. Either that or one Minotaur unit would probably be able to kill most of them. But I don't want to lose the Minotaur, so... We might just attack with the archers or something. Something fun. I've got an idea. This will be fun. Alright. Uh, I think we get a bonus for fighting in the forest, but this isn't considered a forest map. I'm just going to pull everyone back. I'm going to fight in the open. So I'm going to try and draw them straight to me. Like that. I'll just put my spearman behind. Like so. And then I've got my cav unit. I'm just going to use to kill their archers. The cav unit has a... 70% melee attack, which is giant. And that should be enough to win this. I don't need the rest of the units. So my plan is... I'm going to lure them... Bring the archers forward. Bring the spearmen up. Throw the cav on the side. Fast forward it. So we're going to let them melee the archers. So the archers will fire, and then eventually we'll get them into melee. And then we can bring the spearmen forward if we need them. If we lose a few arch units, I don't really care. It's going to be fun. Now, their archers have better range than me. And these arch units are hidden, apparently, somehow. They're hidden while running. How are they hidden? They'll get revealed in a second, anyway. How are they hidden? They've got Vanguard deployment. And they've... Oh, I think Stork. Wow, that's a really sneaky trait. They can move hidden in any terrain. I'm assuming when they fire, they get revealed. Yeah, well, the... Fire, guys. Shoot, shoot, shoot. It's a good ambush. Uh, we'll get the cav behind just to deal with the archers. And, yeah, let's melee them. We are destroying the sword infantry. I think that one, I don't know if that sword infantry, they're shielded, they should be doing fine. But they're getting destroyed. Cav, let's break their archers. And then we're going to beat them in melee. And we're also going to flank them at the same time with archers. We've already broken one unit. Archers of wrecking them. Oh, 
That shouldn't be a thing. Anyway, archers, um, yeah, shoot them in the side. Cav have broken one unit. We're going to get the second unit in melee. We're not really winning decisively, but we're still keeping up. And we broke them around. We don't need to kill them. We just need to win the battle. That was ridiculously easy. Come on. I think their morale would last longer. They shouldn't have a morale penalty either. End the battle. I don't know why their morale was so bad. You'd expect them to stand and fight a little bit more. Anyway, we got another city down. And we're going to... Probably should start stockpiling money a little bit. So loot and raise this one. Good. Now, if we continue going east, it's the other human faction. The Cult of Ulrich. So we need to go south and go for these cities. They're not putting up any fight at all. Uh, we could try and do a force march to get... Actually, we can't even go into force march. So we have an upgrade for our leader. We're going to go with unit upkeep and recruitment costs. I mean, these units are cheap as shit as well. Do an end turn. The call to the great hunt has been answered. Uh... I don't know what happened. Uh, another horde was summoned and they're ready to fight and feast. Oh. Oh, okay. I got this for free. Oh, okay. This is like a war army. That's... Oh my god, we are so overpowered. But we're going to break through the city walls with these. How long does this army last for? And I don't pay any upkeep. I can't use it for anything. Can't transfer the units. Actually, I think it stays alive as long as that bar stays alive. Wait, have I got control of you? No, I don't. So I need to set a target for them. Ah, oh, that's shit. If I don't have control... Oh, you're going to attack there. And I'm coming with you. So I've only got 50% movement. We're just going to move our 50%. Or our 75 or 50%. Then go into in camp. Hopefully they wait. And we can attack together. Uh, is there anything we need to build? Probably not. I need horde growth, I need horde growth, all of that. Can't upgrade and can't upgrade. All right. I'm gonna have plus three horde growth next turn. I need money for this and I can get gore herd. All right. Well, we might as well just recruit some more units. And what do we want? I think I've got enough archers, five's enough. I think I've got enough spearmen. I just wanna get infantry. I get shielded spearmen. They're anti-large, but the humans don't have large units, so we don't need them. I'm just going to get these guys. Should be able to afford the upkeep on th that still. In turn. Alright, and they've got an army coming. Ambush are discovered. Ally mobilizes against settlement. Alright, they're going to attack at the next available opportunity. Which I'm going to take advantage of that and attack with them. Just for fun. I can't... Oh, are you kidding me? I can't do the attack. They have to do it. Oh, it's not what I wanted. Well, what's your next available opportunity? That's the weakest piss army. That's nothing. Well, let's move within range. And then... We'll encamp. I'm assuming we... No, I can't encamp. I'm at 50% of my range, but I can't in camp. So hopefully they'll attack and we can attack with them, I guess. Yeah, I guess next turn they're going to attack. I don't know. Let's see. Nope, they didn't attack. Faction destroyed. The Riptorn tribe has been destroyed somehow. I don't even know where they went. A, ch a ritual challenge. Minus five horde growth for three turns. That sucks. 
Well, I can't... You need to attack. What are you waiting for? You freaking... Oh, I can... I've got an idea. Let's clear the target. Then they'll break the siege and then I can attack and they'll still attack. Hopefully. I don't know. I'm just sort of winging it. Let's do an end turn. Oh, wow. No, there's a full human stack coming. That's even better. And I still can't attack. I just cleared the target, you fucking dicks. Let's set up an ambush as well. So I'm going to set up my own ambush in this forest. 70% ambush chance. Yes. Then they might come for this unit and I can ambush them. Uh, do I have an ambush stance? I guess we're always in ambush stance. Okay. Who knows what's going on? Uh, you, who knows what you're going to do as well. Let's just do an end turn. Okay, the small army withdrew. The big army went somewhere. Oh, they... They still attacked. Even though I cancelled it, they still attacked. And they destroyed it. I guess that's a good thing. Um... Wow, they took a lot of damage, but that's okay. Yes, I don't know where this army went. It kind of concerns me. Can I get an agent? A recruit a lord, recruit a hero. No heroes? I don't want to walk into an ambush. It's silly. I could probably just sneak through the forest. And... No, well, let's just encamp. Let's recruit that last unit. And then we're full stack. We could probably beat the humans after that. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Alright. And we have another ritual. So we can get extra Chaos Corruption. Or... Which... Minus four Horde Growth for five turns. That's bad. Let's just get the money. And they're with us. So let's move together. Let's go into Ambush Dance. And move up. I mean, we might as well keep in camping. I don't know where those humans went. They're in the forest somewhere. We're not, do we make any extra money? When we, we don't even make any extra money when we encamp. We don't need to encamp. Let's just go into raiding stance. We can't... Yes, we can. But if we're in raiding stance, we're winded in battle, which is a problem. So we're just staying in ambush stance and... We're going to work our way to their next city, which is up here. That army wants to attack us from the south. Go nuts. Uh, let's focus the attack on that city. In turn. I don't have any money to build anything yet. Winds of magic have changed. That's great. We don't have any magic. Their disbandment is imminent. Technology researched. Extra horde growth. Uh, what's this? Oh yeah, they're going to attack that. That's fine. And another one on the Dark Moon. Okay, every time there's a Dark Moon, we get one of these. So we get extra rage, extra upkeep. We get... Uh, horde growth. Oh god. Campaign movement range. Some of these are bad, and... It's not good. I mean... I don't want to pay 33% extra upkeep for my army. I don't want to lose 25 melee defense. I don't want to be tied in battle, so I guess we have to take the horde growth penalty, which means we just won't in camp. Then we can get extra leadership, or we can get extra corruption. Might as well get the extra leadership. How long does that last for? That's for five turns. The other one's only for two turns. And I've got a non-aggression pact, which hurt my beasty, beastal rage. So yeah, non-aggression packs are a bad idea. Let's keep moving north. Uh, I'm not going to encamp because I'm losing growth anyway. So we'll keep moving. I don't know what those guys are going to do. It doesn't really matter what they're going to do. Technology. Um, horde recruitment capacity is not a bad one. It's going to hurt our research again. 
I need to save up 5,000, really. So if we win this battle, we'll get some income. Do an end turn. Okay, that's going to be an epic battle. Alright, and our horde disbanded. I mean, they did their job in the raise the settlement. Can't be too pissed off. What are these? Ruined provincial capital. Oh, okay. Uh, what's the odds of this? What are these? Free company militia. Van okay, they've got Vanguard deployment as well. Decent melee combatant. Their range is 90. Their missile damage is 17. Alright. I want to see if I can get them to attack me. So we're going to encamp for one turn. Just because I don't want to attack that and the garrison. Because it's got a good little garrison. We probably wouldn't win that. Hmm. Alright, let's encamp. And can't get better units yet, can I? No. I need four and a half thousand. I really need to win another battle, don't I? I have... Do I have the growth? I do have the growth for that as well. Alright. End the turn. Please come and attack me. No. They withdrew. Alright. The Riptorn tribe will respect me. Mission failed. Well, they're dead. Of course they're not going to respect me. We're going to go I for this city. You. Hopefully we don't take too much damage. Otherwise, we're going to be very vulnerable to a counter-attack afterwards. So we just have to be careful for this. But this should be a fun battle. Go into ambush stance. Attack the city. Alright. So they have one unit of spears. Some of these militia. Which they've got no armor. So I could counter them with my archers. And my archers will outrange them just. They've got a lord, obviously. Four units of swords. Some spears. Lots of archers. And the pistolier cab, which are an issue. Because nothing I've got can catch them. I built, oh, maybe my cab might be able to. But that's where having the war hounds would have been good. Either way, this should be fun. Let's look at the terrain. Nice open battlefield. Fight the battle. I'm kind of enjoying this DLC, but simply maybe it's just because it's different. We haven't really got into the epic battles yet, but hopefully we will. And hopefully they last longer than seven minutes, otherwise I'll be disappointed. Uh, this is going to be... A, like, we need to be strategic about how we win this. We don't want to just lose our units. I've got a hill, but I've got no artillery, so I have to attack them. I've got vanguard deployment, which kind of helps a little bit. I could position troops in this forest. Could I? Yeah, maybe. It's just at the edge of the map. Uh, I could do the same thing in this forest. But I, I have to attack them, so positioning units over there is not going to do a thing. I'll just do a basic battle formation in case they decide to attack. So I'll just put our archers at the front. I'm going to put my axe units behind. Spearmen on the flanks. Just in case Cav charge. I mean, they're not going to charge with Cav unless they're stupid. Got more axe units. My lord. My Cav in the rear. Minotaurs. Probably going to push center. Unless they get a really weak flank. That's everybody, isn't it? Yep. So start the battle. Let's pass forward it. They're not going to move. Good. So we're going to lock our formation and just move up. Fast forward. Now we could try and flank with our cab, but that's a bad idea because the pistoliers will probably wreck them. Unless we flank with our cab and our archers, which could work. It's a new strat. Haven't really tried that one yet. Let's go with that. Three units of archers on the flank with a unit of cav. We also send the spears on a f this flank. I mean, they're, we have units priority, really. So we should be okay. Uh, they don't have any great swords, so we want to punch the. try and get their leader with the minotaurs. Probably a good idea. 
Let's just ungroup this army. We've got Pistolius here. And we'll send the other two units of archers on that flank. Basically, we're going to use the spearmen just to protect the archers on both sides. They're moving. And hit them in the middle with the swords and axes and whatnot, while the archers side shot them. That's my idea. So what's the range of their archers to about there? So let's move to there. We could also push one flank pretty heavily because we've got some extra axe units. Send these guys to the flank. Send you guys to that flank. And we'll probably put the cab round behind. going to be a point where we're just going to send everything in. But... Alright, what's... Have they got any archers here? They don't. They've only got these pistoliers and militar. I don't know how good these military are going to be. Let's keep moving around. The minotaur's up here. I don't think I can shoot my units in the back. I don't think that's a thing. It might be. Well, no, they'll just have a block shot and they won't fire. So if we move in anymore, it's going to trigger them and then it will kick off World War III. Let's keep flanking. My hidden units... Oh, all the, most of these guys are hidden. Alright. What's shooting at me? Oh, their archers are shooting at me. Can we shoot at their cap? Come on, this is the plan. Alright, we're going. Send everything. Spearmen, go. Archers, go. Yes, this worked. We killed the Pistolius. That's what we wanted. Their archers are going to be left out in the open, so let's get the cab round behind to distract them. Yeah, we wreck them. Um, the militia. Let's focus them. Let's focus them. Focus there. Get everyone else closer. Flank, go. Archers behind. My cab. Go for their archers. My archers. Let's wreck these spearmen. Spearmen can just stay there. Okay. That's their leader. Need to go for him. Send my lord and the minotaurs. Axes can push in as well. Stop our units from getting flanked. Spearmen here. Oh, there's a big shit fight going on here. Let's try and shoot the pistoliers. Break up the, my spearmen. Send the spearmen in here. Here. Those three archer units just move forward. We'll get some shots in. Doing pretty well. Just chasing their units away, mainly. I'm going to try and save my shock cav. Archers, let's get these free militia. Should be an easy kill. They've got some free cav archers so let's get the cab in on them spearmen push in oh i lost an axe unit that's bad let's focus their free militia we're winning the melee fight there winning the melee fight here and the cab got there oh wow you're surrounded by archers that's really bad for you let's just chase their archers away and then we can shoot their militia slaughtered their militia with my archers spearmen are winning just okay focus the next unit how are we looking here? We killed their lord? Awesome. Where's my lord? Oh, he's here somewhere. Good. Uh, we'll send the minotaurs. They're breaking. Send the minotaurs after their swordsmen. Did I lose my spear unit? No, they're very weak though. But they're chasing the other guys away. Done. Success. We... I mean, they were chasing that spear unit away. So this... No, the... um arch unit away so they weren't going to get shot by the archers the only one who's going to shoot them was the militia who were getting destroyed by my archers so that worked semi well we might try that again in a different game we're in a later battle okay so we lost 500 not bad lost a lot of those axe units which is not good they're pretty weak though and they're pretty expendable decisive victory 2000 gold 
And I'm going to loot and raise. Because if I go for the extra horde growth, I'm going to lose that because of... No, that penalty's gone. Now we need the money. So we're up to 8,500, which will allow us to research what I want to research. We got a talisman of magic resistance. Campaign line of sight. And I'd like to move this guy away, but he doesn't have force march. So we might be able to withdraw from the battle if they hit us. I'd like to fight on my own terms, not theirs. We'll see how we go. Let's go for unit upkeep again. Gives us even more income. Our leader is very strong. Like, I don't think he needs the buffs. The only thing I might give him is melee attack. Because it'll give him a better hit chance. And it looks like... Oh, that's just the poison benefit. Wait, does that... Oh, it, when they get poisoned, they lose armor-piercing damage and armor damage and a bunch of other things. Alright, so poisoning them is a good thing. I was wondering how poison worked. I think we're good for an end turn. It's not a lot we can really do. It's going to change my research to this first. It's only one turn, and it will speed up the research of that by probably one turn anyway. So it's worth doing. And I'll do it while I have the money. Nothing else I can do except for hope for the best. They should attack me. I guess not. Alright. Well, technology was researched. What's this? The Harbour Bringer. What's... It gives us winds of... Ma I don't use magic. I can't use magic. Pointless. It's just helping... Well, it's kind of helping the humans, except they're not using magic at the moment either. I need to encamp, so... How strong is this city? Garrison, what have we got? It's got a weak garrison. We could win that. That'll be a fair fight. So we're going to wait and replenish. I'm just going to go into the forest. And encamp. What is our rage doing? Is it going up or down? It's going down by... We've got... Oh, I think it's an event. Yeah. No? Maybe? Oh, because... Okay, because we had that... What was it called? Bray Herd. Uh, we take a penalty now because... Obviously, if you don't take a penalty, you're just going to get them non-stop. So that stops you from getting them non-stop. The Bray Herd being that other unit that helped us. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to merge. And re-recruit. Actually, are we or are we going to build a new building? Oh, I just need 4,000. One turn I can get a new building and better units. Yeah, we're confident we're not going to get attacked. They've got an 18 stack against a full stack. Pretty confident. Research. Let's go for the Gore Drunk. Which will give us extra recruitment capacity. Okay, I've got enough for that building now. So let's do that. That gives us the Goat her uh, Gore Herd. Which... Are they a better unit? You get 120 of them compared to 160. They're both Axe Infantry. Uh, they're a slightly better unit. They're not shielded. They've got Vanguard deployment, but... And they don't have Stalk either. But they are a slightly better unit. How much is it to recruit one of them? Uh, I'm not sure. But let's just do an end turn. Okay, so we have the building now. Oh, we can get shielded versions. Okay. Probably should get shielded axemen as well. I mean spearmen. But we'll deal with that another time. Uh, yeah. I mean, these guys are shielded, but their stats are... Melee attacks worse. I think I'd go for the standard ones. They're 510 to recruit, and they cost 150. I need two, so I need to do another end turn, which will give me enough to recruit them. Then I can recruit both. I'll replace my Spearman at some other stage. And then we should be right to attack that city next turn. How long... Okay, that penalty's gone as well. So as long as we attack, we'll be gaining Bestial Rage again. Our growth is going up. We only need 20 each time. Alright. 
And then we should be able to attack. So let's go back into ambush stance. And we'll attack. Okay, and the odds are bad. They might have upgraded their garrison. No, they didn't. Why are the odds so bad? Huh. Well, we might try and kill the leader. Uh... Yeah, that's scary. Oh well. Anyway, we're going to leave this to next time though, guys. So as always, thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in part three tomorrow.